agree. That was that was that was a really funny death. I'm actually going to upload that as well. I'm going to upload that <laughs> that whole thing. Oh, about hardcore. No, I I know what hardcore is like. I've played a lot of hardcore in my time. It's just I've never seen this biome before whatsoever, and I didn't think that those green dicks were going to come out of the uh, wall and then blow up right in front of my face, where the only way I could go was down a sheer cliff. Hello there, mortals. I'm Jensen. Welcome back to. What is this? Minecraft Java Edition, isn't it? We are going to go back to the title screen and we are going to play a brand new world. Uh, we are going to play... Uh, we are going to name this world something a little bit clever. Uh, you know, in honour of the last world, we are going to name this I Had Nowhere to Go. To, to go. There we go. I Had Nowhere to Go. We're going to be playing hardcore, obviously, and let's fire into it. Oh yeah, I forgot to mention the worst part of Bedrock. Yes, you did. What is the worst part of Bed? Oh my god, is this where we want to stick our base? Like cantilever it over the ocean and into this recessed cave right here? Ooh. Yup, 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 yup. Uh-huh, uh-huh. Uh! Tundra, every this is what I was talking about, right? Every time that I fire up a mat, you are surrounded by tundra. Always surrounded by goddamn tundra. Yuck! Oh, it's literally never ending. There is a big hill over here. I'll go over here and we'll, um, we'll see whether or not we can build a base into the side of that uh, hill right there before we kind of like double down on getting rid of this world. Sometimes it just kind of kills you with, for no reason, uh, saying you died of fall damage, falling on a block at full health. I have never encountered that in the 5,000 hours of bedrock I've played in my time. Like that, that is not something I've ever seen before whatsoever. Okay, I'm thinking this hill right here might be the one that we choose. We have no melons. We have no god rolls. We've just got this yucky ass ice and tundra and crap everywhere. There's not even anything here that's worth having. I remember tundra very, very intimately as being just a crap place. We found some pumpkins. Okay, well, that's a good source of fat, I suppose. All right, uh, we'll come up here. We'll see what the view is like. If the view is good enough, we will kind of like, we'll just say, hey, this is the place, and we'll build our base into here, even though it's a sucky-ass place where snow just covers everything that you place down. You can't grow any crops. Okay, I'm not gonna lie, the view is actually really nice. What do we think? I mean, spruce is here. Spruce isn't a great wood. I think acacia looked nicer. Ah, oh, there's polar bears all over the place. There's a plateau over there. I like it. Ugh. Oh, would you look at that? Someone already built the base for us. That was nice of them. Okay, let's go ahead and just start punching trees then, I suppose. Okay, we have to go all the way down the hill then to start punching trees. There's none up here. That's absolutely fine. I don't mind. Whoa, that was close. Almost just died. I got oh, yay! Look! Someone made us a base. Perfect. Love that. Acacia looking better than spruce is like the least popular opinion possible. Is it really? I'm not much of a spruce goose, to be quite honest. All right, let's start punching trees. All right, we get one for the crafting table. We get one for the sticks. And we get one. No, we need two for the sticks. Uh, we'll punch upwards as well, because I remember these things being quite tall. We'll punch these down. And we'll punch these out as well. There we go. We've got enough to make ourselves an axe, but we haven't done so yet. And one left. Boom. There we go. I'm going to take that uh, sapling right there, and we're going to plant it up top on, on our base. Okay. Yeah, powdered snow exists. Now you can slowly fall through it like quicksand. Great! Another reason to hate the goddamn snow biome. You are taking the piss, right? Be sure to have a shovel to dig yourself out just in case in this biome. Oh! Now another element of micromanagement. Great. Awesome. That's what I needed. Maybe we come back to this location. Maybe we should find somewhere a little bit more simple to set up a base. And then we come back here. Ironically, I actually like the desert way more than I like the Arctic locations. And that is a weird take, simply because a desert is Arctic. No, and uh, Arctic locations are a desert. Okay, let's make ourselves a, um, let's make an axe. 
put that down right there, and we'll take these, make a crafting bench. Good, and we'll drop that down, and let's go ahead and plop that right there. Uh, then we want, s no, we want planks, don't we? And then we want some sticks, here we go. And then we want an axe. Great. <sighs> I can't believe that last one ended there. That was the place. That place was calling to me. Whoops, I think I just, no, I'm definitely holding it. <sighs> it looks slightly different, so maybe you'll notice it. I'll probably notice it. I've got really, really good eyes. There's none around here. Uh, maybe we just want to blanket the area and trees. Oh, no, but then everything else is going to spawn. What is that? A fox? Nice. A quick enemy. I doubt that'll give us meat either. All right, what's through here? A big frozen lake. Oh, God, I don't like it here. <laughs> I really, I, this is an awful place. Maybe, maybe we could spit in the face of God by trying to live here. Okay, that's going to be this playthrough. We are going to spit in the face of God. Awesome. We've got enough wood, I think. We should probably go back to the mountain. Start craft oh, there's no sheep here, so we can't make a bed. Again, God spits back. I am literally running along the tree line. Oh my God, screw this place. This is horrible. All right, I see somewhere that may have some kind of food or shelter. Way off in the distance. Let's check it out. Let's hope that it's not just more tricks on our brain by the Arctic. It could be. Could be more tricks on our brain. All right, some rabbits. Whew, Arctic fox drops nothing, but they are tameable technically. Great. What do we get it to do? Nothing. Okay. 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 Oh my god, seriously? We still haven't found the... We're losing the mountain that we wanted to stick our base on. Do we want to just... Ah, oh, we're leaving this place. Screw this place. This Arctic place, it sucks. Oh, I'm being called to. I'm being called to right here. This is it. This is where we set up. I was about to jump into the water, but it, <laughs> it wouldn't have been water. It would have been ice. I think this is the one. So long as it's not again flanked on the other side by more Arctic crap. I can forage for items for you? Yeah, it'll damn well have to, right? The hell is that? That was weird. I wonder what that was. Probably just a block of dirt. Usually food or minor things, but they can find emeralds occasionally. They are more environment improvers? Yeah. Yeah, they'd have to be, because the Arctic location is just goddamn miserable. This place sucks. Why would anyone live here? Why? Why would anyone choose to live in such a crap hole? Okay, we don't want to fall through the ice as well. I am literally paranoid by this place. I'm driven mad by this area. Okay. I'm thinking here. I'm thinking here. I'm hoping that on the other side of this mountain is like not more Arctic crap and also not a giant jungle because jungles, all white. They, they, they just block the views. In just about every single case, jungles are um, another kind of worthless place to be in unless you're looking for melons or cocoa. <laughs> I don't even know what Coco does. What the hell is this? Is this like poison? Is this poisonous dirt? Oh, there's some uh, mossy cobble down here. That's weird. It is weird. That's a jungle thing. Oh, please don't actually be a jungle. Move! <laughs> okay, good. Come up here, up here, up here, up here. Hopefully there's no creepers! Okay, good, and good, and come around here, and good. Uh, let's bust this one with our hands. We're going to have to actually start recessing into the side of here, even though it's literally a straight shot up the hill. Okay, good. Uh, we also went too high. I like it up here, actually. This is not so bad. This is way better. The mountain looks like a good base building place. It does, doesn't it? Podzol, also you need to eat. Yep. But what do we eat? There's nothing here to eat. That's the, that's the problem with the Arctic place. There's nothing to eat ever. Okay, I'm not seeing a hell of a lot that would be useful to us. I'm just seeing jungle, which is the one thing I said I did not want on the other side of this mountain. Although I do kind of see just over here, there is in fact plains. Oh, yes. 
Ugh, swamp. But, oh, look at that. I mean, we've literally just found the only diamond in the... Oh, that's kind of okay over there, I suppose. I like the tall tree tiger. All the wood you would ever need. Yeah, but look at that. Look at that. We can set up here. Uh, this is all alpine crap, isn't it? This is still spruce and stuff. Okay, let's go ahead and actually get our first blocks of wood. No. Oh, we've got wood. Actually, we don't need to. I'm just going to leave that there. Oh, that's also a mess. Way off in that distance. Okay, how are we going to get down here? I, I see a path. Let's go down. Let's go down it. Oh, I see exactly how we're going to get down. Yes, perfect. Boing! Awesome! Okay, we're a little bit wet, but it's absolutely fine. Some lily pads over here as well. Nice. Let's get on top of these. Who just jump around? Jump, jump up and get down. Jump! Jump! Oh, yes! Yes! Oh, you pigs are... You, you don't know what's coming to you. You... Uh, hide... Hide your children. Hide your children, because the, the muffin man is in town, and he is hungry. He is very, very hungry. He also needs cobblestone to cook the meat, but he's, he still wants it regardless. Uh, here comes the muffin man. He's going to eat you. He's going to eat you real good. Yes. The insane ramblings of a YouTuber desperate for food. Where are you going? Come back here. Come back here. I'm starving. I'm really hungry for a little bit of pig. Good. Uh, okay. Oh, no. They're using the vines against me. Awesome. One. They're slow, too. Good. Yes. Come here, piggy. Yes. One more. No. Uh, one more. Okay. Another. Yes. Good. Got him. And it's night time. We didn't find a single sheep either, so we can't sleep through night, which is um, just the, uh, probably the dampest fart we've had in this entire game so far. This honestly has been a revolting start. Like an actual revolting start. Okay, well, at least we've got some pork we can cook. Ugh, this is a good environment. No, it's actually, it's the worst possible environment that we could have. We've just got swamps which generate witches. They are a heinous creature who can uh, two-shot you with potions. Uh, over there, we've got just death trap mountains. And over on that side, we have literally nothing but snow and polar bears. I, I don't know what crack you were smoking, Scott's World, but there is nothing good about any of what we've spawned in here. Except for these pigs trying to get busy on that mountain face. We're also starving, and we can't feed ourselves. There's no food anywhere. Like, anywhere! Where? Okay. Let's make another crafting bench. We're going to know where we came from, because we'll just follow the path of crafting benches. And let's put it down into the mountain right here. We're going to go ahead and make some more of these here planks. We're going to make some sticks, and then we're going to make a pickaxe so we can get... Whoops. We're going to make some sticks so that we can make ourselves a pickaxe. Don't worry. No creeper jumps here coming. It's not happening. Hello there, cow. Sorry, I thought you were a creeper for a second there. You're very lucky that I found enough pork to, to slake my thirst. I'm going to take some of this stone right here. Good. We've advanced a little bit. We need eight to be able to cook. We should have enough enough wood to be able to cook our food. Ha! Huh. I just turned in. Why, why are you wolf? Because uh, I really like Payday. It's one of my favorite games ever made. Okay, there's some zombies over there. I think we want to make a straight dash to where we want to build our base. Just over there, right? And I think we want to clear out this. What the hell is through here? Oh, piss off. Seriously, this is just death. All right, zombie. If, if you insist, fine. You will go down the hole. Bye-bye. What an idiot. I almost jumped down the hole after, after him, after saying what an idiot. It would have been so close. I'm going to kill this pig for its uh, delicious meats. Nice. Yes. Perfect. Excellent. Uh, I think there's another zombie stalking us. Oh, he's stuck. Perfect. We don't want to deal with him. What's oh, there's another one. And it's raining! No! <laughs> Can we just collectively agree Payday 3 never had existed? Oh, yes! God, I hated that game so much. Like, it was a good game. The mechanics were fresh, and I, I was quite fond of um, what they did with the game mechanically. Uh, okay, let's use uh, wooden axe. Great. Ooh. I uh, I... Gotta say, the game itself was really, really good, but the insistence that it had to be online at all times, it was literally unplayable. I could not play the game. Every game, I failed uh, all of the stealth, which is the only reason I play Payday, it's because it's a stealth shooter. 
Um, every game I failed, simply because the ping would not catch up in the quarter of a second that it took for me to sneak around a camera. Right? So it just detected me and triggered loud every single time. Oh, this is... Oh, this sucks as well! We can't build a base into this! This is all gravel! What? You are taking the piss! I mean, there's another hill over there that we could recess into. Oh. Okay, let's stand here in the rain like a bunch of idiots. Uh, we'll make another crafting bench, obviously. There's another keystone for where we came from. And, of course, we are going to make ourselves a furnace. We have to do this, otherwise we're about to starve to death. Okay, good. We'll go ahead and we will fill it up with these spruce logs because we don't have a choice and we'll cook all these raw pork chops so we don't starve. Why are we cooking those? So we don't starve to death. Oh! I hated them because sometimes cloakers would just not play the sound. Oh, it just sounds like a, a harmless bug to me. No, I mean, like, I, I pre-ordered the game. I bought the um, collector's edition and everything. And then the game came out. I waited... I tried to record Let's Play as well. I waited three hours. I recorded three hours of... Trying to find server. Try, trying to find a server for you to connect to. Solo. While I wanted to play the game alone. In stealth. Which Payday is famous for. That's half the point of Payday. Otherwise they wouldn't have implemented the stealth in the first place. Why make it a live thing? Why do you have to connect to servers? And of course there was kind of like a way around this. But Overkill specifically went out of their way to make sure that you did not gain any experience, achievements or anything like that. If you're not connected to the servers, which is just as it's it's consumer hostile. Oh, actually, we could probably build on that. I, this is OK. I mean, we're still kind of butting into the yucky old Alpine over there, but we're getting into a territory where we could probably actually get away with just, you know, surviving. Right. OK, we've got some pork, pork, pork chop. Let's eat this before we die. For the love of God, oh, this playthrough has been cursed. Oh, I've only got half a bar of health. Oh, no, it's still healing. Good. Whew. Plus, I hate the fact cloakers always know where you are. They wait, don't they? They hide. They hide and they wait for you to come and um, come around the corner. Okay, one more pork chop, and then we're dismantling our establishment right here, and we're gapping it. Now, the reason I'm really disappointed with this hill right here is because it looked like the perfect place to, like, recess a, a base into and just have it jutting out. But, unfortunately, when we saw the other side... It was only uh, yay wide and made of gravel. So we can't actually build a base here, even if we wanted to, because as soon as we mine one block of that stone, all of that gravel is just going to fall down. It's just it's, it's just going to be a red herring. So we can't build there anyway, even if we wanted to. Oops. I meant to, meant to actually dismantle that. And let's go ahead and get this one as well, because we need the crafting bench. We're probably just going to craft a bunch of them. Uh, probably going to go that way then, right? Oh, I just saw that spider off in the distance too. Maybe over there. That'd be a good place for a base. I don't know, but I, I'm kind of tempted now just to go into the plains. Hopefully find literally anything that isn't the garbage that... We oh my god. This run is cursed. This run is so cursed. There is no... Oh my... For the love of... We are... Oh. Hi, Ensign. That feeling I talked about last night has only gotten bigger. Oh, I'm sorry to hear that, Spray Paints. Uh, maybe you're feeling dread for uh, what I'm about to accomplish, which is either certain death or certain idiocy. Okay, maybe we can kind of like hit them from above. No, we definitely can't hit them from above. Okay, I'm probably gonna, just going to have to gap it off this hill, right? I'm going for it. Oh, good. Okay, we went around them. We can't actually sprint now, so let's just do that. What the hell is that? What the hell is that? Oh, it's got to be one of those drowned guys, right? Right, we don't have a weapon other than this axe, so hopefully we won't encounter any... Oh my god! Okay. That's fine. A little bit of health. Just gone. That's fine. It's not like we needed it. Oh, there's a creeper following us too. Nice. Okay. Good. Yep. Oh! Salvation! Salvation! Oh! I never thought I'd be so happy to see a, a village of squidwids. Not the squid. I mean, literally Squidward. Who's following us? No one. Great. And it's sunrise. Oh my god, I cannot believe that we've done this. <sighs> Do you have to run? No damage taken at all? Ah, we fell down. Okay, at least we're not in the alpine butthole of the world. That place sucked. 
Yuck. It was just polar bears and foxes, which don't give meat. Okay, we've we've got food. We've got food. Uh, we don't have shelter, which kind of sucks. That's pretty, actually. I like that. Ah, look. Zombies. They want some of our nice wet flesh, I think. Is that a witch? Or is that a zombie wearing armor? No, it's a glowing skeleton. Okay, I'm going around it. Ah. Polar bears drop fish. Yeah, I don't, I don't know anything um, about the game that wasn't in the update that came with the copper. I stopped playing the game at about that point. Oh, a skeleton. That was the death of our good run. I'm going inside. Oh, hello, skeleton. Well, it sucks to be that horse. All right, we're stuck here. That's not good. I'm going into this building. Hello, sir. Are you okay? What's a skeleton doing out there? Hello. This run is so cursed. Block game? Hey, horse. Man, you've... Oh, this is the third attempt in the worst series of runs I have ever had in Minecraft. We're also playing hardcore. Um, I just had the door slammed in my face. At least he didn't bugger me. I went into someone else's house and they tried... What the hell is this? Cartography table. Don't mind if I do. Thank you very much. Sir, I'll be taking that. What the hell? Oh. All right, we've got some things. Got a compass, finally. Compass is a compound word, by the way. Phonetically. Uh, let's go ahead and bust this annoying ass tree down because it's in the way and I can't see anything. Ugh! Yeah, yeah, there's gonna be free stuff. We're gonna go get the free stuff. Don't you worry, Gunner. We're gonna get all of the free stuff. Hello, sir. What's. Sorry. Okay, he doesn't wanna trade. Good. Okay, so there was something over. Am I still. Be oh, piss off! Skeleton! Come off it! Okay. One more hit and we are dead. Is he gonna aimbot us? Let's hope not. Go after them! He's not following us, is he? Hello there. Uh, let me know if you see like a skeleton or something like that, right? Oh, piss, he sees me. Defend me, squire! Okay, bye! <laughs> oh. Okay, oh no, he's still up and about. What is this garbage? I'm actually being camped by a skeleton in a village. Do your job! Get out there! Hit that skeleton! What are you doing? Do it! Do your job! Iron golem? More like iron golame. Alright, what an asshole. We'll keep. So we can't go into the blacksmith, unfortunately. Okay, that's also certain death. I can't jump that. So we gotta run and... Yeah, we took a bit of damage anyway. That's fine. Excuse me, sir. I'm just coming in here. Uh, nice. I'm taking that. Thank you very much. I hope you don't need this. I hope it's not your livelihood, because I'm taking it. It is now mine. Whew, skeletons are annoying when you have no weapons. Yeah, I know, right? And also when you have no shields, because no one will tell me how to, how to craft one. Eat? Yeah, good idea. I'll eat. A whole, a whole pork chop. I was hoping to find, like, an apple or something. That was such a waste of a whole pork chop. Okay. Bing bong! Everybody get out of your vocations! I'm looting! What is this? Repair and disenchant? I'd love to. Don't mind if I do. Yoink! Uh, what's this? That is a furnace. Uh, probably don't need to dismantle that necessarily. Good gold! Oh my god, this run was so cursed up until literally minutes ago. Good, we found some oak saplings as well. I'm going to wear this armor. Awesome, we've got pants. Ooh, the recipe book will show you how to craft it. You need saturation. What does that mean? Go inside, there's another one, don't worry. You already walked past one. What are you talking about? The smithy. Yeah, there's a skeleton guarding it. I don't know if you noticed, but there is literally a skeleton goose guarding this the blacksmith. There's no way in. Is there any way in here? No, there's not. Okay, that's funny. Let's bust this down with our pork chop. We'll see if anyone's stuck in here. Hey there, sir. Yeah, no, he was definitely stuck in here. I'm gonna... Okay, we can't sleep. It's not a thunderstorm. It's just normal rain. Do we want to take this house right here? Is this the one we want? I kind of want this house right here. Then we don't have to build a base. Ooh, a couple of people live in here. We'll keep... Make six wood planks in the shape of an A? In the shape of a Y? Okay, that'll require a crafting bench. I'll find a crafting bench first, and, and then I'll do exactly what you just said. Thank you, by the way. Thank you very much. 
for telling me how to do that. Oh, that's right. I got to just check the recipe book for the recipe. Okay, uh, nothing in there. I think we've looted everything that's not literally this blacksmith. Right? Yep, there's the door right there. Nope, that's the wall. We're just making access. How do we get in here? Oh, right. Hello, sir. What are you selling? He's buying... Yeah, oh, he sells iron axes. That's awesome. That's actually really, really good. He also uh, trades coal for rubies, too. Sorry, uh, emeralds. Don't mind me. I'm just going to take all of your possessions. Red, yes. Oh, a helmet, too. Nice. We've got lots of obsidian. Uh, we're going to wear this helmet right here. Oh, thank the Lord. We have a little bit of survivability now. This did not work well. Honestly, this was a super cursed run. I'm surprised we've made it this far. Oh, well, iron. Yeah, I know, right? But what do we spend it on? <laughs> I think we get a, an iron pickaxe and then we just go underground, hope for the best, right? We try and, multi uh, try and multiply it right now. Saturation is a hidden meter. Different food gives different amounts. Saturation is a thing that heals you. Oh, okay. I still don't really understand what that means. Who the hell built this farm? This is dangerous as hell. Oh my god. Why? This place is full of idiots. There's hay down here. Uh, okay, I'm going to take this here, iron, uh, this coal, because we need it. We actually do need this coal. We need to craft torches or something whenever it matters. All right, we're done with this village. Let's get to a high point and see if we can't get up. Oh, is this? Have I looted this? I think I have looted this. Yeah, I definitely looted in there. Let's get to a high point. Egg. Nice. There's also some pigs down there as well. We could probably kill them for their meat. Uh, but I'm pretty sure we should be able to kill these um, villagers for their meat as well. Okay, this is significantly nicer than the place we spawned at, right? Even though it's raining, there's horses everywhere, there's sheep everywhere, there's... Um... Okay, that's not a death cavern, which is awesome. <laughs> oh, break the hay, it makes wheat. Does it? I thought we just get hay bales from it. Okay, I'll do that. I'll do that right this second. Because there's hay everywhere. I thought that the uh, hay bales were just kind of like a utility to kind of prevent you from taking so much fall damage whenever you fall from a height. Which we could use, actually. Okay. Uh, do we put this in our inventory? Ah! Okay! It's free food! Gotcha! Gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. Nice! We're taking all of this. In fact, there are a few that blocked all the buildings as well, so we may want to take those as well. <sighs> One has nine wheat. You can craft them into wheat. Yeah, 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 yeah. We just figured that out. Nice! It feels really good, actually. Hello, sir. I'm taking all of the food in the village. Where'd that skeleton go? I know he was harassing us for a bit, and I know the iron golem did literally nothing. Ooh, right here. Great. Egg! We're going to need to collect a lot of eggs, because I have uh, in my head, at all times, rent-free, a schematic for an automatic chicken cooker, which also works on bedrock. It's really, really compact, uh, but you've got to be near it for it to actually function. So hopefully in the Java, it's going to be a lot easier. Don't want to hit that guy. Okay, we'll come over here. Yeah, these. We'll get all of these out of the way. While it's raining and no one can be bothered stopping us. Even this iron golem is all like, eh. It's not mine, you take it. You have it. Okay, I think I just got invited to a menage a trois as well. <sighs> you can craft them, into, craft them into wheat. Yes, 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 yes. Hose break the hay faster. Dude, we don't know a single person here. How are we going to know who's a hoe and who ain't? Although that is actually a really good shout. We should probably figure that one out for kind of like a return visit. Maybe that's, maybe we can, um, maybe we can come back here and find some hoes. But I don't know, like, uh, until, what the hell's up with all these eggs all over the place? They're literally everywhere. Yeah, until we're comfortable with like us having our own crib, we're probably not going to worry too much about hoes. Minecraft Sigma male quote, don't waste your gold on hoes. Yep, true. Don't waste your gold on anything, really. <laughs> Chickens lay eggs. Oh, so they do. So they do. So they do. I love how people call them eggs. That's death. That's just a death pit. <laughs> oh, the rain has subsided. Guys, it's done. We've been born anew. We were at a really, really crap location. And now we're not at a really crap location. Look at this. Either that or we did actually already die and we're in, I don't know, some kind of heaven or purgatory.
We killed a lot of pigs. I'm not entirely sure. Maybe it's kind of like the um, the Islamic heaven, right? They don't they don't like pigs, or do they? No, they don't like pigs. They consider it dirty. It's uh, is it halal or is it kosher? I can't remember. One of the two. Oh, this is much nicer. Look at all the livestock. Look at all the life. Look at all the flowers. Nice. If you throw them, it's a chance to spawn a baby chicken. Yes, that is uh, very common knowledge. There is a cross right here. Is this our grave? I think we found our grave. Okay, that's where we died. That's the lore of the story so far. Is it a cherry tree? Oh, everything is turned around. Remember the tundra? Oh yes, look at that. We could probably put a really cool mining base in there. I love that like tower of lava as well. Okay, done. This is where we call home. I think that maybe we shave off a share of this mountain and then we live. We live here. I like how there is a cherry tree up there. I think that if we break it down and get a sapling, we should plant a couple of cherry trees on top of our base. What happens if we break that uh, beehive? Do we get attacked by bees? Is that actually a thing? Oh no, here come the monsters. Uh, okay, I'm going to eat some pork. I'm going to gap it back to the village. Now that I can actually see five meters in front of my face. Oh, that's cool as well. A direct shot into the mine. Hello, horsey. Excuse me. Did you die? No, 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 no. We didn't die at all. Cap. No, we died. We died twice uh, to some very, very funny uh, creeper jump scares as well. They were both very funny. Damn, there's a lot of life around here. This is the kind of place where I want to set up a, a base. I love this. We got to make it back to the base though, so, uh, back to the village so we can sleep. So Nightmare House is tomorrow? Yes, Nightmare House from, uh, 2 is turning up tomorrow. And thank you for reminding me because I haven't even installed it yet. Now if I've learned anything from Minecraft, it's that we should install the game before we play it. So pretty. Okay, uh, we're not doing so well though. Oh no, we may actually have all of the enemies spawn. Okay, coming up here. Almost got a couple of sprint jumps around there. I'm going to get all of this grass out of the way so we can go back to, to our house a lot easier as well. I see a yellow bed in here. Yes, who's sleeping in it? Excuse me, who lives in this? Hey, I made advancements. Cool. And we've got sweet dreams. You can swim? Yeah, I have been swimming. Oh, by the way, I was holding shift that entire time while I was in the water. Which I've bound as the uh, control for, sh for sprint. Uh, for some reason. Oh no! Not my problem. It's not, that's not a me problem. That's not a me problem. That's the village's problem. That's not my problem. That's not my problem. It's not my problem. Unless he comes back at me. In which case, I will clap that bastard. Okay, he's not actually... I was going to try and knock him into this pit right here, but it seems like I don't have to bother. Okay, so... Uh, right here, One Tree Hill. This is going to be our base. You just need to be underwater? Oh, maybe you're right. It's not my problem. It's not my problem. Oh, I see. Ah, hello, Salmon. How are we today? Just breathing the good water like a good fish? Good fish. What's up here? Oh, a landing. Very cash money. Very bougie, I would say. Okay, we're coming up here. Uh, another little death chasm. Great. We're coming up here. Uh, I, think, I think we excavate all of this stuff down here out, right? Over time, and we build our base into the mountain up there, overlooking everything. How does that sound? That, probably, that sounds really good, right? Do we all like that? Are we all really, really uh, into the idea of everything that I just said? I'm really into the idea of it. Also, why don't you take one of the villagers' beds with you? Uh, there's sheep everywhere. We don't need it. We can just murder some sheep. We can just murder some sheep to make a bed. Ah, uh, yes. Okay, so this is going to be our base. Right here, One Tree Hill. I think. I don't think we... Oh, this is so cool. If we plant a couple of these on top of our base, and then we'd, like, dig down so that our roof is just glass, we'll have all of these pretty flowers all over the glass. How does that sound? Does that sound really good? So you can sleep on the go. The song playing right now kind of reminds me of Pop Punk Pizza Party from Sunrise Skater Kids. It's the home team. It's the home team. They do like, um, they're still making music. They're kind of like a, uh, they're a pop punk band who still make music in like 2024. They just released a new album as well. Or a single. I can't remember. 
I think it's the singing. Yeah, it's definitely like that emo kind of kind of sound, isn't it? It's good though. Like emo music, it's it's good music. It's really good music. You just have to kind of have a thick skin for it. Okay, so how do we want to recess into this? Do we want to go like two or three blocks down and then kind of like, taper off the top with some dirt blocks of our own? I think that might be probably the best idea. I want to leave these trees here, but I also don't at the same time. It's got bees. Yinsen is emo. I was actually an emo kid. Uh, around about 22, I kind of uh, got a haircut, though. Uh, the emo kid, it's still in there. It's, I'm just buff. I'm just buff now. I'm a buff emo kid. Look, I even cut the sides of my hair off like emo kids do these days. So, there you go. Okay, uh, let's go into a mine. Let's try and get ourselves some iron tools before we start really committing to excavating this place out. Do we have any coal? Yes, we do. Let's make a torch so we can kind of always see this place. Does the crouch placement still work? Please? Yes! Awesome! This is our base. I have planted the flag. There's pumpkins over there too. Hi! <laughs> oh, I love this location. This is a great location. We also have a stone cutter. We've got a grindstone as well. Uh, we should probably place the stone cutter down, right? Somewhere so it's not in our inventory. Let's do that. Let's place everything down. Let's let's put down everything that we need for a for a good for a jolly good base. I'm gonna recess into this little bit of dirt right here. And don't worry, I'm gonna mark it with a torch. Here we go. Bust into here. It's gonna be kind of like a little a little cozy crafting cubby. Okay, maybe here, here, and here would be good, and I'm also going to bust out this line of things as well. Yes, I like this. I like this a lot. Get rid of that one as well, because it looks hideous. Uh, let's put a furnace here. We'll take our crafting bench and this torch, and we'll put the torch there. We'll take the crafting bench, and we'll put this in the wall as well. Just kind of like conserve space a little bit. And that should be good, right? We should have nothing to cook. We don't have anything to cook. Awesome this could you make a torture room for mobs oh gosh that's <laughs> emo music is actually kind of good yes it is it is good music even my little sisters my little sisters grew up as kind of like a, a farmer's version of a barbie uh even they listen to like bring me the horizon and stuff like that now it's pretty funny i showed them uh, escape the fate recently it was, that was hilarious because they actually really really liked it it was um this war is ours the album this war is ours. Showed them that one. They loved it. More eggs. Nice. Okay, so my automatic chicken cooker does require an obscene amount of eggs. So we're going to need to collect a lot of those before we can really actualize that. I know there's a 50-50 chance of getting an, uh, a chicken out of it, but you need two chickens in there to start it off with. And it's really hard to get any, like, existing chickens in there in the first place. So where was the kind of... It was here, wasn't it? Ooh, that's death. Death trap. Death trap dungeon. I think down here might be a really, really good... Spot to go mining, right? We'll get a little bit of cobblestone first if we don't have any. Yeah, we're going to have to get a bit more cobblestone. Why am I holding the stone cutter again? Okay, let's go place this. We'll place, the, we'll recess this into the wall as well because I'm pretty sure if we stand on it, it's going to hurt us because it's a saw blade. It's literally a spinning saw blade. Boop, here we go. I uh, don't know what to put in there though. Mm, okay. I don't know what it does. Oh, well. Uh, let's actually also go ahead and place down this grindstone. I don't know how to use this. Do we need to... Well, I, oh, I see. So if we're like a gold tool, we put gold ingots into it and that would crap and that would fix it, right? So if we put this wooden axe in here and some wood, some wooden axe here and some wood, no? Is that not a thing? Is that not how that works? We'll keep. Make the house a tree house. Are you taking the piss? There's no way a base would fit in that. We could put like an observation deck on top of that. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to take down those two trees, which people won't like initially, but then I'm going to take the saplings and I'm going to place those on top of our base so that the trees kind of sprinkle all of the secure, the secure droppings on top of like a, a nice glass skylight. All right, good. Uh, so there was another place. Oh, I don't know about that bee's nest though. I don't know if we can like place that down again. There was another place that we wanted to set up kind of like a mining facility, wasn't there? Was it down here? Where was it? I think it was down there. You need planks for wooden tools? Oh, right, yeah, that makes sense, actually. We don't really... I, I just wanted to see if that was actually a thing. What's in here? Hello? 
And the buddy home! It's a day! Yes, it! Okay, let's go ahead and take this, this coal right here. And I'm also going to start taking a lot of cobblestone, because we actually do need a lot of cobblestone. I think I'll just take cobblestone until the pickaxe breaks. Or, maybe we could save a bit of time and just make a cobblestone pickaxe right this second, and then throw out the wooden pickaxe. How does that sound? Also, did you put wood in the stone cutter? No. 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 <laughs> no, you! You put, you put wood in the stone cutter! We didn't have any stone anyway, so. No loss to me. What's under here? Ah, perfect. Great. We can stand on that. I was expecting lava or some kind of terrible cave of zombie children to come out and just gank us immediately. That would suck. Oh, we've also started a crewing experience since we got to the plains as well, because there's actually stuff to do here. Rather than the tundra, where there is nothing but death and boredom. Tamer Fox, what kind of... What kind of crap advice is that? Team of Fox Jensen, they said. It'll be fun, they said. Okay. You did, don't lie to me. <laughs> I, I'm not lying. I don't, well, here's the thing, right? When it comes to my honesty, I don't choose to lie. That's it's as simple as that. Also, the chance from... Is that a zombie? What the hell was that? Okay, I'm putting down a paranoid torch right there. Also, the chance for a ch from a chicken from an egg is 13.7. Oh my god, seriously? I usually get like, I get them half the time on Minecraft Bedrock. Maybe it's different on the Java. So we are going to need an absolute ass load of eggs anyway. I don't think two chickens are really going to cut it with the uh, automated chicken cooker. Essentially what, yeah, it's, it, I'll explain basically how it functions. It's essentially a, it's an item. Right, it, 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 it's a big multi-block structure made of redstone and a bunch of other stuff. Is that pigs? What the hell does that sound? I hope it's not bees. Uh, but what this multi-block structure does is it has a tiny pocket of um, actual real-life chickens, big chickens. And they lay eggs into a hopper, which gets deployed into a tiny little area with... That looks like a mine if I ever saw one. A tiny little area with... Um, Half a block of lava on top, so that when the small chickens get... Where is the coal? When the small chickens get uh, old enough for them to produce meat, then uh, they burn. They burn to death, which cooks the chicken as well. Oh, this is kind of nice. Oh, it's not nice. There's a bat. Oh! Is it... Do they harm us? Is this thing gonna attack me? On Java, it's 31256s? Wow. It would not be honest if you lied. Yeah, but I don't intentionally lie. That's the thing, which is why it's honest. <laughs> okay, I'm not seeing a lot of like low hanging fruit. I am seeing a bat that I don't really want to tango with. Uh, get rid of that dirt right there with this wooden pickaxe, and I don't really care too much about that either. Okay. Gonna mine this one out. What is this? Granite? There's a zombie down here. That's fine. Would you like light, you big penis? All right, let's go ahead and ask this guy a question. Nice. I'm going to stand above him as well, so I do all of the damage. Come here. Ow! You penis! That's my armor! You just struck my armor! Okay, good. What else is down here? Light. Let there be illumination. I like the bat. I kind of like the bat, actually. I like the bat. Bats are unable to harm at all. Okay, I like that. I seem to remember, uh, maybe it was a mod pack I was playing. But I died to a bat once. Very embarrassing. What's down here? Oh, just more death and destruction. Okay, so can anyone actually tell me what copper does? If copper is actually useful for literally anything other than decorating a base, I will start mining it. Otherwise, I'm not going to take a single drop of it. Pardon me, bat. I'll come through here. Oh my god! Damn it! We've been attacked. They've declared war. Okay, there's a hole in the ground there. We also have to commit that to memory. Uh, let's go ahead, go up. We'll get ourselves some nice stone tools while that skeleton takes obvious pot shots at my bum hole. Oh, it's night time too. That's not good. Uh, right. We didn't, uh, we didn't make a bed, did we? 
All right, we've got six more of these torches. Let's go ahead, go back to base. Hopefully there's not going to be like a billion enemies here. I was hoping the bees would be out to defend us. Not the bees! Would say the enemies. Okay, let's start killing these, uh, these sheep right here. It's probably a good time to do so, right? With an axe as well. Good. One block of wool. Perfect. Now we only need two more sheep. Where the hell did they go? I'm certain there were heaps of sheep around here, right? We're out of here because there were heaps of sheep. Oh, there's just skeletons everywhere. Okay, I'm just going to gap it to the village again. And I'm going to take one of their beds, honestly. A little bit silly. <sighs> oh, can be used to make lightning rods? What does that do? Other than, like, having a utility for being able to make nightmarish skeletons and stuff like that. Because I've done that before. That was in a very early version of the game. Oh, yo, it's quiet? What, like, you don't like the bat, or? How can you not like the bat? Bats are so cute. Unless they're giving the entire planet COVID. Oh, no, it was a pangolin, wasn't it? That's right. People thought it was a bat initially, and then it was a... Oh, hello. I hear a spider piss on this. I'm off. Iron Golem! Come and defend me! I'm shouting in Gregorian. Oh, there's no bed in here. There is a cauldron, though. And a block of iron. Wowee. What luck! Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> oh, and a leather tunic. I don't think we've got a chest plate. No, we do not. Nice. Are they beating the door down? No, that's a torch. Excellent. And it's raining. Seriously? Oh, my days. This is just the most revolting series of luck that we've, we've had. Get out of the way, pig. I'm trying to steal wheat from these villagers here who clearly do not need it. Ah, <sighs> copper can make lightning rods, which prevent you from having, which prevent it from striking your base. Ah, which allow you to make charged creatures easier. Yeah, I know about the charged creatures. I didn't realize that it like stopped. I don't remember lightning ever lighting my base on fire or anything like that. Maybe it was server settings we were using. Because I know that you can turn just fire spread off. Okay. So. Uh, that's all death, basically. If we just walk down there. I'm just going to go around, I suppose. Follow the beaten path. Even though the path is telling us to go literally walk off the ledge. What the hell happened here? Ah. That's not good. What the hell? This trapdoor is in the wrong place. <laughs> My guys, you need some architects up here. This is bad. Or maybe there were some dark nasties down in that cave and they were just trying to keep them out. Oh well, again, not my problem. Hello there, sirs. How are we today? I'm just going to sleep in this bed. <sighs> Water is in the trap door. Yeah, we figured that out. Never mind, that makes me sound like a Republican conspiracy theorist. They can do that? What do you mean they can do that? I was just unblocking this cave right here so that they can mine without fear of, I don't know, drowning? Bing bong. I'm going to get one of these for our base as well. Let's grab one. I don't know how to make these, but we're taking one. Our fences are also really, really useful, so let's go ahead and grab those two. <laughs> I also remember, uh, sorry, I'm screwing up my, my words now. I also remember Mossy Cobble being really, really useful for something. Oh, piss. Oh, well, fences are useful. I remember Mossy Cobble being really useful for something. Does anybody remember what? The kid went on you. He did. At this point, just take a bed from the village. Just do it. I don't know. I don't think we necessarily need to. We've got this black wool in our backpack. I think that we... Oh, piss off. Actually, he's not aggressive. Yes, this is probably actually a really good time to start farming up a little bit of silk. Uh, we're going to go and we're going to make a stone sword. That's what, I, that's what I'm doing right this second. And... Uh, we probably want to swim around while we eat, right? Yum, yum. Good. And now we're going to go under the surface. Good. And we're going to sprint for... What the hell? Okay. Hello there, Salmon. Can we catch the fish? Is that a thing? You took fences but no beard? Yeah, 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 yeah. 
Spiders aren't aggressive in the day? Yes, exactly. So we, we want to be the aggressors today. I think that's going to be our project. We're going to kill a bunch of spiders. We'll try and get ourselves a bow, which would really just go a long way right now. Like a huge one. Oh, I've got to plug that in as well. Do we have any dirt on us? We'll do that before we forget, actually, because we'll just run into that at some point. I can almost guarantee it. Okay, plug that in. Hopefully, we don't forget that that's there while we're excavating out this kind of, like, area to be flat. That'll go really poorly, I think. Especially with the viewers who are currently watching this. Also, a bucket can let you catch... Really? You can catch fish in a bucket? Cool. I didn't know that. Okay, let's try the stone thing. Smooth stone can go into slabs. Why? I can just do that by hand. I can I, we can do this by hand. Is it just supposed to be like, um, hey, this is how you get uh, stairs fast or something like that? Okay, don't want to sharpen anything. We need a chest or two. Pretty much stat. Now that we know that we have uh, essentially survived the hardest parts of the game. So let's go ahead and just look up. Nope, that's a crafting table. Go out of here and go into the crafting table. Good. Perfect. Two chests. So where do we want to put this bell? That's good. Ding dong! Everybody ready for the death? That's the, that's the death bell. Good. Okay, so let's go ahead and place these chests down. I don't know, like... They're in here. This'll do. So this is going to be our crap chest. This is just where we put all of the stuff that we don't want. Oh, I thought this was... I thought that was iron. Damn it. Uh, hay is going to be really handy eventually. Gold nuggets, yes, obsidian, oak saplings, we should plant those. Bread. We're keeping the bread. We're keeping the bread in case we run out of this um, pork shop right here. Cobblestone, we're about to make some tools. So we'll keep that. Oak fence, we'll definitely stick in the crap chest. Now, let's go ahead and actually do it. Spruce. Done. Uh, let's go ahead and make a couple of sticks. Eight sticks should do the trick. And first, we'll make a sword. No, not out of wood, actually. That's a bad idea. Let's make it out of cobblestone. Yes, sir. Stone sword. Beautiful. We've got a bit of string. We should put that in the crab chest. Whew. It's cheaper and it makes more per block. Ah, that's cool, actually. Okay, we'll definitely take advantage of that in the very near future. Uh, we've got a stone sword. We want a stone pick as well and probably a stone axe too. Stone axe. Done. And stone pick. Good. Yes! Uh, apparently, we just got an upgrade. Nice, we got an achievement. There's also a cartography table here, but I don't think it's really necessary to put down just yet until we start excavating there. Uh, we probably also need a shovel, right? Get rid of all that crap. Shovel! Let's make a shovel. Shovel, uh, we don't have any more cobblestone. So let's go and... Uh, but no, like, we'll go into a mine and we'll, we'll see what we, we end up with afterwards. I remember there being a mine of some sort. Oh, perfect. Uh, can we get back up here? Oh, piss off! Skeleton! Seriously? Get out here in the sunlight. Face me, coward. Where is he? Coward? This iron literally right there as well. Coward? Is he cowering? What's he doing? Oh! <laughs> he jump scared me. He gave me the old peekaboo. Okay, he's taking a couple of burns. Where'd he go? Hello? Where are you, penis? There he is. Okay, I'm gonna kill him. Good. We killed him. Wow, that was actually very clutch. Uh, again, I think I just messed up a, a couple of pairs of undies in advance. All right, let's pick up this iron. Nice, a little bit. Oh, there's a bunch of iron. Beautiful. Axes deal more damage than the swords. Really? Ah. I don't know why I started using an axe on that block of iron right there. We're going to take all of the cobble we can as well. Even if we have to go down to gravel layer, which is probably what this crap is. Unless it's andesite, which is just yucky in every single way, shape, and form. And we'll ignore it regardless. It doesn't even give you flint. Uh, how much coal do we have? Oh, we got a bunch. Okay, let's make some more of these torches. Good. And we'll place the cartography table with the torches. Excellent. Uh, put that there. Put this one up there. Good. We'll try and, like, clear out this area of any kind of potential resistance so that when we actually do come through here, we can kind of, like, 
We can, we can put the base in immediately. How does that sound? Don't spam it. You deal less damage. Check the damage numbers. Okay, I'll do that next time we get into a fight. But when I'm dealing with a skeleton, more hits is better. Simply because I don't want to fight it at all. Okay, good. This is completely lit up. Excellent. Nice. Uh, we've got this little pickaxe right here. Let's go ahead and just start mining a bunch of crap. Maybe it'll break. Maybe it won't. Either way, okay, we can't mine any of the copper with this wooden pickaxe. I'll just break it. I don't like waste, and I don't like picking things up that I've already committed to throwing on the ground, so that's fine by me. Nice. Okay, done. More hits isn't better. It's way worse. The hits you land are better than the hits you don't. That's, that's what I'm getting at. If you pick your shots with a skeleton, it'll out DPS you. Any other instance, I'd probably be inclined to agree with you, but unfortunately, uh, with the skeleton specifically, we, we just don't have the survival ability to kind of get around them yet. We need a shield. I keep forgetting how to make them. You deal way less damage and it takes longer than waiting in between hits. Crit hits. What do, you, what do you mean no way? Are you actually trying to tell me that it's better to not hit a hit than it is to hit a hit? That is so backwards. Oh, we got a bow. Ah, oh, but it's almost bust. Oh, but we can repair it. Okay. Ah, oh, but we don't have any string. But maybe it takes wood. What is this in our hotbar? Raw iron. Okay, I'll take it. Ready ho Let's uh, keep on mining out this layer right here. It's better to wait and charge up an attack. How do you charge up an attack? What? How do you charge up an attack? Like, I see the little sword icon down at the bottom there. Oh, I see. That's what you're talking about. Okay. But when they are right in front of you, it's kind of hard to charge up an attack when something is, is about to kill you, right? You want to try and kill them as fast as possible. And I don't really think that trying to gamble on whether or not looking at another portion of the screen is the best idea is really the best idea. Personally, it's, it's, it's just a preference for survivability. I'm always going to be on the side of you know, doing it wrong is better than dying and losing the whole world. Jumping in on the way down. Stone axes deal nine damage. Wait, what do stone swords do? Five attack damage. Nine attack damage. Oh, wow, I see. Ah, but the stone sword hits twice as fast as the axe. So against the skeleton, they'd probably out-DPS us. If we were trying to, like, pick and, miss it, uh, pick, and pick and hit our shots. Especially if we miss a single shot. Like, that is where the entire strategy falls apart, is when you miss the first shot. It reminds me of that phrase, everybody has a plan until they're punched in the face. Right? Crit with the axe. Yeah, you gotta actually land them, though. That's the thing. You have to land the hit. If you don't land the hit, that entire attack was, was worthless. And if you're jumping, that adds another element of complexity to the attack. Yes, I see what you're, what you're saying. Crit, but you have to hit the attack. What do you mean it's not hard? When you, when you just get jump scared by something and a third of your health disappears, do you really think I have the facilities to like pick and choose a fiddly mechanic in a different portion of the screen to when I actually want to point the cursor? That's, that, that's not something I want to engage in. <laughs> I think doing it wrong is better than uh, dying, which is what we have been doing up until this point. Yes, oh, okay, we're gonna differ on this, honestly. I get that, like, high, high damage is better than high DPS, but you need to actually have the dexterity to be able to do so, which means you can't be jump scared right before it happens. As soon as you get jump scared, your entire plan just falls apart and you'll get railed by anything that sneaks up on you. Okay, spruce planks, dog pork chops. We've got a pretty good set of stuff, honestly. Uh, we could probably do with getting some more fuel. We don't have a, no, we got coal, perfect. Uh, let's cook this iron. Hello, chicken. Would you like me to kill you? No, he would not. Uh, we didn't grab a bed, did we? No. Okay, so let's go and find a couple of sheep. I don't actually see any sheep in the area, which is weird because we walked past about five on our way back. What happened to the sheep? They've got real fiddly kind of spawns. Or maybe they migrate. I'd say. Make shield, then you can block the attacks. Yeah, that is uh, first point of call. But as I've mentioned, I keep forgetting how to make it. And uh, no one told me how to make it in the 10 minutes that I, I, was, I was just saying I, I don't know how to make a shield. So can't make a shield. I know I can probably look it up in the, uh, in the compendium or something like that, but I haven't done so so far. I'm just uh, more focused really on getting to kind of like a base level of survivability. This run specifically, I basically invalidated it as soon as we spawned because it was so cursed. We spawned right in the middle of Tundra on every single side, by the way, every single side. Okay, good. One attack right there. 
Okay, you see that uh, instance right there where I missed the attack and then I still had to wait for the attack to charge up and then they hit me, which took off half of my health. So if they did that again, uh, this whole game world would have been over. So your, <laughs> your, your meticulous uh, strategy of being able to face tank, die and then resurrect doesn't work here. It doesn't work. One wood, two iron, three wood. Wait, no, use the axe then. What do you mean use the axe? <laughs> I wasn't holding the axe. I was looking for sheep. And we're not gonna do, we're not gonna take a bed. We're not taking a bed from this village. That's just wrong. It's morally incorrect. Okay, good. We actually got a sword this time, so here we go. Okay, that does do significantly more damage. I do like that. Now where are those spiders? Because we want their silk. Hey buddy. Uh Boop. Oh, sorry. Let's get the axe out, right? All right, that's good. Oh, that is actually really, really good. So if you got the jump on them, that works perfectly. Otherwise, it doesn't work at all. Okay, good. Excuse me, sir. This guy just watched his friend die. Okay, cool down on the axe kind of let us down a little bit then because the spiders attack way faster than the axe does. So I wasted a little bit of your DPS strategy. Hold on, so taking a bed is uh, too far for you, but taking their jobs, which you did when taking the grindstone and the stone cutter isn't. Yeah. Yeah, you've essentially nailed it right on the head. Can we do the strategy to one-hit pigs? No. We can two-shot them, though, which is pretty good. I like that. Okay. I do like this axe strategy now. Maybe we'll get rid of the sword altogether. I bet you watch speedrunning videos or something like that, or, like, uh, competitive mul uh, multiplayer stuff. I have never seen competitive stuff. Ah, here we go. Third sheet. Nice. I one hit it. All right. We're going back to the security tree. Hit them on the way down. Ah, it just seems as though uh, you just have to be above them. Seems fine. Why am I so slow in here? Like, I sprint and then I'm still really slow. What about the fish? Does it work on the fish? Oh, uh, we got fish. Oh, yes, the axe one hits fish. I love this. We are about to drown, though. Let's go to this little island here so that we uh, can uh, recuperate a little bit of our of our breath. And then we're going to keep on one hitting these fish. Okay, we need to get a single really good hit off on them. Oh, yes. Oh, I love this. Okay, I have actually uh, learned combat. It's a lot less difficult than I thought it was. Swimming is actually harder. The crit only happens when falling. There's particles when you do. Really? That's super fiddly. Okay, we got all that fish. How much do we get? Seven! Okay, I like the fish strategy. I'm not too fond of, like, land animals anymore. I'll kill them if it's annoying. Ah, okay. So you come down and you, you hit them. Gotcha. Okay. Yeah, that's easy enough. I don't think I'll be able to use that against monsters until I get a lot better at the game, though. Like, I haven't played this game on keyboard and mouse ever. I always play on controller. So uh, there's a, a little bit of translation error whenever I try and, like, move around and stuff like that. So, yeah, uh, like, I was good enough with a controller to get nationally ranked accidentally on Battlefield 3 a bunch of different times. Uh, just because I'd, like, go over to a friend's house and I'd play, um... Battlefield 3 with him while having a couple of drinks getting, uh, getting a little bit tipsy and uh, just screwing around but yeah it was good enough to actually uh, get nationally ranked in that game on keyboard and mouse I'm not as good like gotta be gotta be said no need to go up a block I like the amount of time that we have when we drop though that, that's why I keep going up a block okay so now we can make ourselves a bed pretty sure we don't need three of the same colours oops just need that and then we also need oh we we do need three of the same colors that's that was updated in a patch okay i see a white sheep over there we already got two white wool that's real fiddly that's that's really annoying actually uh that must have been patched out of the game oh i like that okay that does work really really well that was also a new colored sheep apparently okay that yeah that works that works you're ever in PvP, critting with an axe on a shield temporary, temporarily disables their shield? I don't think I'll ever be playing this PvP. I can, I can tell you for an absolute fact, 
this is not the game that I would want to play PvP. I have literally missed out on like a decade and a half's worth of metas and speedrunning strategies. I would just be at such a disadvantage. I was actually about to eat this rotten flesh. That was very close. Get that out of our inventory. Yuck. Let's eat this bread instead. I don't think it's useful for anything other than potions, is it? Uh, we're out of pork chops as well, it seems. That's okay. We got lots of salmon. That's a nice fatty fish. We can go and eat lots and lots of that. This has been a really good start, actually. Like, a, a very good start. Okay, uh, coming up here. Now we can make a bed. A five white wool. That's excessive. And spruce planks. Done. One white bed. Not stolen. Made. By hand. I've set my respawn point. Excellent. When we die, I can't wait to see that bed in the death screen forever. Uh, bone meal, that's useless to us. Oh, we've also got lots and lots of pork chops and mutton. Uh, gonna put all of the wool in here as well, because it's crap. All that string as well. Let's try and repair this bow. Uh, bow and wood. Wood? Oh, do we actually need string or something? Oh, please no. That'd be so annoying. Wait, why can't we... Why can't we repair this? Do we need like two of the same weapons and it just adds the durability onto each other? Is that how this works? Because I'm starting to see now that we can't just like use materials and stuff because it, it, it won't take wood. I don't know if it'd take logs, probably not. But it hasn't, it hasn't taken that lap. Okay, let's start cooking all this food up, all these raw pork chops. We definitely need lots and lots of those. We got two iron, which is not nearly enough to make a Pickaxe, but we do have one spear here, so we can make an iron pickaxe. Excellent. We don't have any sticks. Did we put it in here? No, we did not. We just don't have any. Okay. Let's go ahead and grab these sticks. Two right there, and boom. Iron pickaxe. Okay. Bows need bows. That is so daft. It's movement that makes you lose the hunger incredibly fast. If you eat a lot and stay still, you can actually gain hunger. Really? If you eat a lot and stay still, you can gain hunger. That is weird. That is so weird. That, sounds, that, that does sound like one of those competitive metas that I, I just missed out on. Okay, so now that we have gotten this far, why don't we just like, we could start on the base. Because right now we're working out of a hole in the ground. And I don't want to keep working out of a hole in the ground. If you'll, if you'll pardon my brazen nature. How far do we want to extend it out though? That's the next question. Like, we could have this hill kind of, like, coming up into it, but we could also have just, like, a big cantilever coming out of the mountain here with some supports that just go up and down. We could share uh, this face a lot further downwards. Then we'd be able to look under it and see a bunch of stuff as well happening. Whew. Bows need bows. Oh, if you eat a lot of rotten flesh and stay still, you gain hunger. That is so weird. That is so weird. Okay, we'll take all of these pork chops right here. We'll get through the last of our bread roll. What are we doing now? Honestly, we, we probably got to a, a good base neutral. We've got to the point in the first playthrough that we started of this game. That is a death trap as well. Uh, I want to plug this up. Let's plug it up. We've got a bone in our inventory as well. Gross. Uh, let's go ahead and... It's kind of like... I don't know. Plug it in so we don't have to fall down ever again. Excellent. I don't even care if we hear a bunch of zombie noises or anything like that. It does not matter to me whatsoever. Egg. Nice. Okay, so let's go ahead and start shaving into this mountainside, I think. I think that's going to be our next thing, right? Because we've finally got an iron pickaxe. We don't really need an iron shovel or anything like that. I think it's probably a bit of a waste of iron at this point in the game, but... Let's make another couple of shovels. Maybe... Three shovels? I think it's probably actually going to be our first iron shovel made, right? No, it's not, apparently. Okay, let's use this one. And we'll come up here, and then we'll start digging into the mountainside. Let's uh, shave this off right here. Three, four, five. Good. And we'll shave that right there. I'll keep on shaving into here. I think we probably want this house to be like a, a two-floor structure, honestly. All right, what's up here? Still more mountain and also hill. I probably want to shave off these next few layers that are right on top of here. Because we don't necessarily care too much about it. Actually, is this even the best side to build the base out from? What about out from here? 
Uh, we could make like a, an addition that goes along here, probably. And it does kind of face the, the village as well. Maybe we want to go from this direction out here, actually. Plant a couple of secure trees right on top of it. Who knows? Because the debuff removes more hunger for movement, so eating a lot will end with a minor net benefit. Okay. I'll commit that to memory. I don't think I'll ever use it necessarily, but we'll commit it regardless. Okay, the hill only goes up. I think we probably want to bust down this one Sakura tree. I think. I'm not entirely sure. Maybe we want to leave it there until we start actually solidifying that we are going to be... Uh, why don't we just... Mm. We can always put dirt on top. We're going to start moving into this level here. And this is going to be kind of like the corner of where we're going to stick our, our goodies. Uh, maybe this would be the end right here. Yeah, this, that makes a lot of sense, actually. We can move that security tree right there. Good. We're going to do just that. Uh, we'll recess into here. We'll keep all of these flowers so that we can kind of, like, put things in them. Put, uh, put them on things. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and go to sleep really quickly. And then we should be in a really, really good spot. Nice. Uh, we should probably also check our... Oops. Check our advancements. What have we got here? So we don't have a bucket of hot lava. We've got a lot of obsidian. We don't have a flint and steel. We can then cure a zombie villager. That's pretty funny. Uh, follow an eye of ender. I know how to do all of these. I'm just not entirely sure what we do. Enchant an item. I actually speak that language. It's pretty funny. It's because it's from Doom. Uh, deflect a projectile with a shield. Yeah, we definitely need a shield at some point. What else have we got? Sneak near a skull sensor or warden to prevent it from detecting you. Sneak 100. Ah, we need a crossbow. That's what I want. I want to build a crossbow. How do we build crossbows? Let's look up this book right here. Right here, crossbow. Okay, so we need two string. We need a tripwire hook, iron ingot, which we just spent on the pickaxe, and three sticks. So aside from this one iron ingot and a tripwire hook, should be absolutely golden. How do we make a tripwire hook? So we need two iron ingots. Then we get a crossbow, which I'm pretty sure is really overpowered. Why didn't this skip the night? What day are you won? I have absolutely no idea. I don't think I can show it on this version of the game. I know I could on the previous version of the game that I was playing, but the previous version of the game I was playing uh, was not the good version, apparently. Apparently there was a bedrock version where none of the automation functions, uh, by automation I mean redstone, and you're limited to about a, a chunk per redstone contraption as well. We're just recessing into this hill right here so we can build a, uh, a nice base. Good, good. Very good. Up all the way out here. Hit F3. There you go. All of the information you could possibly need. Right there. I have no idea what I'm looking at. That's too much. Oh, hey, uh, does anybody know the... Oh, I just screenshot it, apparently. What is the F command for show where the torch is not kind of like... Sorry, I just uh, it took it out of full screen as well. You know, like uh, the where, where the light reaches. There's supposed to be a button that shows you exactly where the light does and does not reach. Can't remember where it is or what it is. Okay, let's go ahead and place down a torch because we just knocked one off of the wall. Put it right there, I think. Good. And back to the shoveling. I think I'll go level by level. And we're good. Excellent. I'm expecting there to be just like an enormous chasm that we just open up into, which would absolutely suck. I would not like that whatsoever. Okay, so this is going to be the first floor of what we are building. And we're probably going to want to cover it all with a bunch of resources as well, like skylights. We want skylights and we also want a bunch of other stuff. All right, we're up to the stone, which is awesome, because we can then make stone shovels. Okay, uh, just... Burst that up. Finish the job before I actually get to the new shovel, I think. Good. Uh, let's go another block down. I don't know just how wide we want this base, but probably not terribly wide. Maybe like two more blocks outwards and we should be fine. It'll give us a nice foundation. I'm going to wall it all off with dirt as well. I know it looks a little bit yucky now, but it won't do for much longer. There we go. Put that there. Put that there as well. Let's level that off. And now we want to start the next section. Go ahead. Mine all of this out. 
Very nice. Uh, we're also going to recess this really deep and back into the mountain, I think. Good, good, good. Nice. All right, let's get all of this mined out. Got some stone over here too. I'm going to go one more floor down after this, and then I'm going to start sticking down some flooring. I don't know what kind of flooring we're going to use, though. Maybe like, uh, I mean, spruce is everywhere. Oak is also a, a pretty good shout. I instant today I made two new Roblox Deltarune cosplays. Since I take a lot of passion as Zevtar creating, I made an almost one-to-one -one replica. That's pretty cool, actually. Good for you, spray paints. Now I've been joking around playing games ever since. Awesome. It's, it's always good for um, somebody to engage in creative expression, isn't it? That's why I make videos. All right. Uh, so probably, yeah, one more floor from here. Let's go ahead and use the stone pickaxe because iron is a waste at this tier. Let's just go ahead and go one floor down. We'll replace it with a floor of our choosing. I made two Chris outfits. Good on you. Good on you. What do you mean by Deltarune in Roblox? Is, th is that actually a thing? Are people playing Deltarune in Roblox? It wouldn't surprise me whatsoever. It's a very famous game at this point. But like Five Nights at Freddy's kind of famous? Uh, no. Hard to say. All right, good. This is first floor. Uh, or maybe we actually want to recess it deeper into the mountain and create like a mezzanine floor. That'd be kind of cool as well, wouldn't it? Uh, let's go ahead and get that shovel into our inventory right there. Because it broke. Excellent. And... Almost done. I think we will. I think we'll create like a two-floor structure. And the top floor is going to be like a mezzanine floor. So it won't be sticking out into the main thoroughfare. Alright, good. We probably also want to stick some walls in here, which is going to reduce the width of this place by about two blocks as well. So that's also something to consider. Maybe want to leave the securities there and just kind of like butt into this side. Yeah, let's do that. Let's do that. Good. Okay. Uh, we'll get rid of all of these things right here. Try and clear out this chunk as well. And then we're going to do another chunk right beside it. Right there. And in here too. Nice. Because the walls do actually take a surprising amount of space. A lot of people don't really realize just how much uh, you lose when you have two blocks with walls. Good. Okay, so now that that's all most done, we just need wood now. So we want, we probably want to go on a forest excursion of some sort, don't we? Unless we want to make it out of the like Sakura wood, maybe. Roblox lets you customize your outfits. What I did was made a replica of the Chris Darkworld and my world design. Ah, that's kind of cool. Good for you. Good for you. Okay, there's lots of oak over there. I remember there's lots of eggs. There's lots of alpine. Egg. Uh, somewhere around us. It might be on the other side of this area, though. We've got alpine saplings, don't we? Why don't we plant them here so that we've got access to alpine wood? Because then I think we can make some pretty cool stuff. Oh! Okay, it took a little bit of damage, but that's absolutely fine because we've got full hunger. Somehow. I haven't eaten in a wee while, actually. Uh, let's probably migrate all of this stuff as well up top side. Yeah, spruce right here. This is exactly what we want. I'm going to go in here, take all these cooked pork chops, and then we're going to stick all the copper in the furnace. We'll migrate once we have a floor up because then we actually have something to place it on. Alrighty-ho. We probably want to plant these up here. One there, sure, and one here. And we'll use that as the flooring. Uh, I kind of want to plant more of these saplings as well. These uh, really, really cool blossom trees. I'm going to do that. I'm going to cut them down. We'll cut down these blossom trees. Cool. And then we're going to uh, replant them so that we have access to this kind of really cool effect. And we'll put them on top of our base so that we see the, the Sakura's blossoming on top of the skylight that we stick on the base. I think that'd be a really good idea. Okay, stick that there. And here. I'm going to crouch so I can see into this a little bit better. Nice. And there's another one right above me, which is not so great. Ah, oh, it's a stone axe. I don't really care. Let's go ahead and break all of this. Oh my god, that is a long branch. Can we reach it, though? Uh, maybe some dirt? Over here? 
so that we can actually go over? Yes. Okay, fine. Good. Okay. Done. All right. I see the leaves despawning already. I'm not going to bother going and grab that. Ah, there's a sapling right here already. Fantastic. And there's wood all over the ground. Nice. Awesome. Ah, it's kind of funny to join a game as a character that looks nothing like what the characters in the game look like. Yeah, tell me about it. I was just playing Assassin's Creed Rogue on my PlayStation, and the first thing I always do in that game, for some stupid reason, is just go and get all the collectibles before I even tackle the story. So right at the end of the game, I have this kind of like super Viking armor in kind of like a, an 1800s American settler setting, you know, with the full helmet and the, the Viking swords, and it just looks absolute stupid. <laughs> but I love it. I actually love it. Right, let's go and dirt over that so we can kind of plant everything. Yeah, let's use these secure planks. For now. For now. We can always remove them. We can always change everything. Cherry logs, that's what they're called. Okay, uh, let's go with a stack of cherry planks, I think. We won't be too greedy, honestly. Let's not be too greedy. We'll go with pink. Let's uh, kind of do this. And maybe we'll use the logs that we plant to kind of like expand out here and create a frame. Maybe not. Maybe. Maybe not. I'd say. I'd say for now. Uh, let's go ahead and plant these saplings right here, because we really want these trees to grow. Probably could use a bunch of bone meal as well to kind of like force them to grow, but we don't necessarily want to force anything so beautiful. Done. What are my thoughts on Titanfall 2? Uh, I bought it. It looked really, really good. I still haven't played it yet. I'm so sad to say. Awesome. Got some more cherry saplings. Maybe these flowers just kind of like spawn beneath the cherry saplings. Uh, I'm going to plant more of these. Let's absolutely pack out the world with pink trees. See what happens. Maybe Herobrine will come and beat us to death or something like that. Good. Done. We haven't lost any uh, hunger for a while, which is also pretty weird. I think we're supposed to lose hunger. Okay, that was intentionally put there. Should probably actually just cover over this really gross looking hole right there. Good. Done. Okay. So, oh, another sapling, great. Maybe planks, maybe planks are the right way. Let's do that, let's convert these into planks and we'll use planks instead of what we're using right now. Because then we can kind of like dip the floor just by one block and we can have some steps which uh, kind of level off to the normal floor. I think that'd be nice, that'd be really nice. Okay, good. Uh, we need to sleep as well. So as soon as we make these into some planks, we're going to get into bed. Crafting bench. Uh, cherry planks. Like that, right? Okay, good. Let's go ahead and just try and make as many as we possibly can. Where are they? Right there. Oh, it did nothing. Okay. There we go. Please. Do I have to have them in my inventory for them to... Ah, oh, I see how this works now. Great. All right, we'll make, uh, I don't know, let's say two stacks of uh, cherry log planks. That's probably enough. I'm jamming the multiplayer. Yeah, that's why I bought Titanfall 2. People are just saying it's an absolutely incredible game, and I'm really excited to play it myself. But I just, it's one of those games that I haven't got around to actually playing. I wanted to play it after I played Battlefield Hardline, which I have not gotten to because people keep requesting other games. Uh, so it's a, it's a little bit fiddly. Okay, we're going to put some planks all along here. And I'm going to take that sapling as well. We are not going to butt straight into the walls. We kind of want to, I don't know. Yeah, we don't want to do that just yet, honestly. Good, 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 good. Put that there. Nice. I'm just going to fill in all of these holes. Wonderful. Nice. I kind of like the color of these planks. They're really nice. Especially when we have kind of like a, a, a skylight on top of this thing. And the, the pink is just going to like fall onto it. I'll make like nice pot plants to put the trees in too. Good, 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 good. Good, 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 good. Okay, probably a bit too pink. But, but we can always change it. Ah, okay, bye bye Gunner. You have a great time playing Titanfall. I do kind of want to, I do want to use like uh, logs to come all the way through here. Maybe that's what we do with the oak. Maybe we go chop down a bunch of oak trees. Or we use the alpine trees, which are currently growing. Might also be a really good idea. Hey, the security tree has already grown. It's already sprouted. Perfect. 
All right, let's get more of this. Right, get a lot of this. And then we're basically just gonna stick the log sideways. Use it as framing, I think. There's also an oak log here. So we'll get both of these trees knocked down just so we can kind of compare what they look like. Get a couple more of these. Nice. Get this egg. Great. Love egg. Egg is love. Egg is life. I uh, don't want to take damage by falling down there. Let's go around. Great. So which one looks better? Spruce? Or... Oh, it could also be cherry logs. Oak, I think, is probably going to be the winner. Because it's not invasive. Okay, put two there. I, yeah, I don't think the wood from the cherry tree is really going to cut it. I'm going to go with this one. I'm going to go with the alpine, I think. Get rid of all of this. This is just going to be our first base, hopefully, uh, by the way. It's not going to be, like, permanent or anything like that. Okay, good. I'm going to create the, that, and then I'm going to kind of, like, bar it across a couple more in front of where we are currently working from. So let's actually go ahead and just... I place another couple of rows of these cherry wood planks. Whoops. That's, uh, obnoxious right there. Great. Broke our axe on that, too. Okay, we'll put that there, and now maybe, like, two more rows, I think. Yeah, this will do the trick. That looks really pretty. It does, doesn't it? A lot of people are really, really afraid of the color pink, but I don't understand why. It's a nice color when you use it right. All right, good. And now we just need more alpine logs. So we're probably going to have to go on a big excursion to go and find some alpines. Unless they drop some saplings. Nice, they drop some saplings. Well, they dropped a sapling. They didn't really drop much more than that. Really? Stingy? Okay, fine. Uh, let's get rid of that out of our inventory and we will get the sapling we just picked up. Where is it? This one right here. It's already in a hopper. Put it like there. Excellent. Oak grows like crazy, which is hilarious, actually, because oak is probably one of the slowest growing trees in the world. Whew. By the way, I know it's spelled really, really is just quicker to type. No, it's fine. It's fine. I understand internet speak. I've been here for a while. I've been on the internet for years. Decades, even. Right, so where would we find alpine from here? I think I see some rather large trees over there, but I think that they're not alpine. I think that they're... I think they're just normal oaks. A little bit of a shame. Any more eggs? Eggs? Eggs, please. Egg. Right there. Good. Uh, we're going to go down and we're going to probably start harvesting up some iron after we finish this. Uh, let's make sure that what we've got is actually odd spacing as well before we kind of commit to this structure. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Who's? Okay, we're going to have to recess one further this way. So let's go ahead and get our sh handy dandy shovel out. And we'll bust into this wall right here. It'll be fine. It'll be absolutely fine. Okay, good. Even though I've got enough typing skill to type with my eyes closed. Yeah, back in high school, I used to type underneath the desks. That was back when phones had buttons. I could type under the desks and still look at the um, the thing I was being taught. It's a really handy skill, actually. Uh, there's a loom here. What the hell is this? Oh, it probably makes carpet. Probably makes carpet. It's probably a villager thing. To be quite honest, what is this? Shears? Yep, that's fine. So we want to make... No, we don't want to... Yeah, we want to make an axe, don't we? Let's go ahead and go down here to our little crafting workshop. Our interim crafting workshop. And we'll make another axe. So we need two sticks. We got sticks. Two sticks. And some cobble. Here we go. Done. Gorgeous! My dad has a keyboard under his desk. It's kind of cool. Oh, no, I mean, like, uh, I could have my phone beneath the desk so the teacher wouldn't know that I was typing. You can't really do that on smartphones because you need to be able to look at your keyboard when you're, um... When you type on a smartphone, but back when my cell phone used to have buttons, it was so easy to do. You could, you could type anywhere you wanted. Like, there are even some people that... up oh, wrong wood type. There are even some people that recognize the whole... If you just have, like, a sequences of numbers, they can recognize exactly what key presses uh, would take to get that message, and they can decode it in their head. Pretty cool. I'm, I've never been one of those people, but I could always type beneath the desk, and I thought that was pretty cool. Uh, we need more of these planks. We need way more cherry log planks. And we're probably not going to use the actual logs themselves for anything other than framing. So 
I'm not, I don't feel too bad about converting all of these into planks and then into slabs. Six, no, we probably want a bunch more, like 30 would do the trick, definitely. Great. Okay, let's come up here and let's start placing. Put all of this down here. And some more all around here. Good. And now we want to frame that out with the alpine logs. So we have to wait for them to grow, unfortunately. Any of them grown? No, but the secure trees are taking over like crazy, honestly. Wow. I love the blossoms. I love the blossoms that fall. Maybe we can get one of those on our, on our building. I don't want to attack this bee's nest, by the way. I don't want to attack it because I know that bees are probably going to attack back. I just don't want to take that chance, necessarily. I mean, I will take that chance, but I don't want to have to. I don't want to have to. I hate phone texting. I'm not a boomer. It just feels all weird typing on a phone. The keys are too close together. It does feel weird at first, but give it like a couple of days and it feels way better than a smartphone. Like leagues better than a smartphone. And this is coming from a guy who's used a smartphone for more of his life than he's used a, 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 a phone with buttons, like normal buttons. Okay, good. Uh, we probably want to start dumping some of this dirt because we don't need it all on our hot bar right now. Uh, let's also cook up some more food because all we've got right now is these cooked pork chops and we kind of want to try out this raw salmon. Uh, where is it? Why is the copper ingot in our hot bar and not the food? A weird question indeed. Put that in the chest right there. And now let's eat. Let's eat to our heart's content. I've used a flip phone. Yeah, clamshells. You know, uh, William Shatner invented those on Star Trek. They didn't actually exist. Uh, Star Trek just had like, it, they showed those clamshell phones, which is what they're called. They're called clamshells. And uh, then companies actually started making it because of the commercial success of Star Trek. Where the hell are we going to find some uh, Alpine wood? Because we need a lot of it now. Probably want to go to the other side of the village, right? We'll go on a bit of a road trip, I think. We'll go on a road trip and we'll find ourselves a little bit more of the alpine stuff. We've got, a lot, we've got a lot of food. We've got some armor. We've got some pretty good nuclear deterrence from being attacked. I think we're probably in a good spot to just go and... Oh, the sun's almost down, though. I was just uh, looking at the sun. And it's almost down, annoyingly. Uh, that looks hideous. Let's just go around that. Okay, good. We're going to go into the water, and then we're going to sprint through it. Yes, I like this. Oh, we found some clay as well. Clay is handy for a couple of things. Can't remember specifically what, though. All right, good. We can probably sleep at the village if we really need to. Or we could kill a few sheep and then take their wool so that we can make a bed where we go. And then we can skip through the night. Whoop, that's death. That was close. Let's just jump it. You can't release any info about him? No, I'm not going to ask. I'm not going to ask. Don't you worry. Okay, we need more sheep. We need a few sheep. We need to do some murder. We need to, we need to do some senseless killing. Oop, also death down there. That was close. I mean, it's probably pretty close to the point where we could just go to the village and have a sleep there, but... What the hell is that? Is that a cat? It is a cat. Egg. Okay, I see some sheep. I see three sheep, actually, which is exactly how many we need. Let's get our handy-dandy axe out, and we'll try and drop slam this guy. Nice, one hit. Oh my god, thank you so much, Gunner, for telling me all about how to do crits consistently. That feels so good. Okay, I'm gonna get this third one, and then ironically, I'm going back to the village to sleep, even though we have... We have a bed. We have all the materials for a bed right here. Okay, let's go all the way back. We'll do a little bit of a sleep, and we'll wait for all the uh, monsters to stop attacking everyone. We'll take this bed with us, and we'll go on a road trip. We'll go on a road trip to the Alpine Forest. What the hell is that? Is that a sandbank? What the hell is that? Carrots? What is this? What is that? Radishes? Hard to tell. Okay, I'm coming around here. That was a guaranteed recipe for health loss. Who's sleeping in here? Excuse me, sir. This is uh, my turn. My turn to sleep. I hate technological advancements since I don't understand it. I love those TikToks. It's like all of a sudden Gen X is hating on their own kids' generation. I know, it's pretty funny, isn't it? I think the even funnier part of uh, those TikToks is that they all stem from kind of like the... The theory I specifically have, I don't really know anybody who talks about this otherwise, uh, where kind of like a generation will invent a technique of doing something significantly easier than the rest of the world, and then the following generation will master it. 
So you get really salty generations being all like, oh, yeah, I was around back when phones had buttons and stuff like that. But, like, at the same time, those people are probably incapable of generating an entire movie using AI. <laughs> it's so funny. It's funny to see old people hate on the new generations. It's also, uh, as a reversal, funny to see uh, young people hate on old people because they don't understand that their to technology simply didn't exist at the time. It's pretty funny. It's, it's, it's pretty funny when you get like a, a huge group of people, like an entire generation, looking at the old way of doing things and thinking, ha, idiot, you bought CDs. Don't you know Spotify is 15 bucks a month? When there was no service like Spotify whatsoever. In fact, the closest thing to Spotify that there was uh, in the 90s, I think was a, the earliest time, was Napster, which is where you could illegally download uh, CDs. Man, Napster... Um, that one, uh, they had some trauma. They got some trauma. The Gen X internet war is so funny. It is, it is when they're doing it, like, ironically. If they're doing it seriously, it's kind of sad. Because it's like that whole Terminator quote, I'm old, not obsolete. And people get really, really defensive about it. You know, being obsolete. They don't want to be made redundant by a world that's advancing too fast for them to keep up. Like, I imagine millennials are also going to be um, just like that. I'm a tail-end millennial. I don't really like that I'm a tail-end millennial because our education was, uh, quite frankly, just disgusting in every single way, shape, and form, and our bully culture was uh, normal. The bully culture was normal, and learning things was just what stupid people did. I hate that so much. But, like, um... Millennials, uh, the way millennials used to do things like, uh, you know, hard rock, um, bite, bite down on the bullet and uh, do, just get through work and stuff like that. It's not it's not aging well. Uh, you've got lots and lots of Zoomers kind of reshaping what it means to work. And it means that millennials are now having to pick up much, much more slack. And it's going to be really sad when they realize that they worked hard their entire life only for another generation to come around and be all like, well, Working hard just isn't going to get anywhere. Let's just not do that anymore. And the rest of the world disagrees. You know what? Yeah, sure. Let's, let's, just, let's just work at half capacity. Focus on mental health and stuff like that. It is sad. It is, it is a little bit sad, isn't it? Okay. We're getting some alpine logs right here. We're going to get a lot of these as well. Uh, hopefully, we're going to fill out our inventory by the time we have to go back. But we're probably also going to have to craft ourselves another axe to do so. Which I'm happy to do. I'm absolutely happy to do that. Okay, um, actually, you know what? I just got a text from Yinset, and I have to go. So, thank you everybody so much for joining me. It has been a good session. We've played three total games, uh, four total games, including uh, Bedrock Edition, and we have done really, really well um, on that last instance that should have been cursed. I don't like it when millennials act like young people are worth nothing because they watch Skibbity Toilet and do dumb things. Like, come on, bro, give them a chance. Bye. Yeah, I mean, like, just before I go, just before I go, I've actually found that it's Zoomers, specifically, who are saying, uh, don't watch Skibbity Toilet, don't watch Brain Rot, all of that stuff. Millennials are too busy. Uh, millennials next year are all going to be a minimum of 30, and I know that because I am one year away from the cutoff, and I'm turning 30 this year. So, when it comes down to it, millennials are now too busy to care about things like that. So they're, they're too busy cooped up in their oodies managing companies and they're going to be CEOs of places and they're going to be, um, they're going to have lots of responsibilities, government responsibilities as well. They're going to be running countries and stuff. That's going to be millennials. And it's going to be Zoomers who don't really like the whole Generation Alpha um, iPad kids thing. You know, the, <coughs> the cough on the, the iPad meme, that, that kind of meme, which doesn't really even apply to a lot of people that I've, that I've met personally. All right, so... Thank you, everybody, so much for watching. This is the end of the VOD. Right up here, you're going to find the playlist for Minecraft Java Edition. Right up here, you're going to find another playlist that I think you'd really enjoy. And down the description of this video, you're going to find a link to my Discord, where you can go and hang out with my community and me at your leisure. And until I make the next video, thank you so much for watching, and goodbye!